What are you up to now? Potato! Stupefy! Incendium! Expelliarmus! Leviosa! Accio! Potato! Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? A wise decision. Thank you. 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 I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Levioso.
Could it be a Merlin trial? Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. Confringo. Marlon himself would be proud. That in trial. Seems we may have an intruder in our midst. Expelliarmus! Back from more! <sighs> Not the brightest child. Predator! An admirable trick! Incendio! It wasn't nothing! Stupid <laughs> What? I should investigate. Levioso. A Revelio.
Levioso! Revelio! Lumos. Revelio. Confringo. Depulso. Defender. Glacius. Rependo. Repero. Wingardium Leviosa. This looks intriguing. Revelio. These rocks have seen better days. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot. I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive, or worse. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Revelio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
are a menace. What can be done? Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes. What about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. Could Bardolf have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. What do you have for sale? Bardolf, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Oh, you like that? A fine choice. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? Baldolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Baldolf refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. <laughs> Revelio. Incendio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this.
Revelio. Madame Beaumont described. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. Ah! 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 Afraid to fight. <laughs> Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. One less human to worry about. Someone. One less human. How nice of you to stop by. to go. Revelio. Do you? I have a brother who works at Green Cross. <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a set. You to learn the error of your ways. Both camps cleared. Madame Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Revelio.
Mother who lives here. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. I should be going now. Thank you. I should investigate. Rependa! Retango! Confringo! Stupidon! Confringo! Rebellion. Revelio. <laughs> this mentions in theory and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Rebellion.
An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Revelio. on the dragon fight was the best decision I've made yet. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Who lived here, I wonder? Running home! Shall we finish what we If it isn't Dora Treadwell's precious... Confringer! One less poacher in the wizarding world. Rebellion. What do you have in store for me this time? Rebellion. Uh. 
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? Yes, I have some right here. Please take it and be careful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew you had a good heart. I feel better already just knowing I have some thunder brew on hand. Please take this as thanks for your generosity. See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage. That's been a pleasure. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Rebellion. Rebellion. Confringo. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Right out of the store. Thank you for all that you've done for us. <laughs> Come now, don't be stingy. Oh, it's you? Oh, the good you've done on behalf of the Arthur Hogsfield residents. I thank you. Madam Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. I'm afraid he's joined the Ashwinders and has no interest in returning. W what No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. <laughs> <laughs> 